Uh, one minute, Audrey. I want to show you something. Can I wait till tomorrow? Oh, it won't take long. You see, I was taking your advice about picking out a new wardrobe. And I think I just might have something picked out. Ta-da! Timor! You don't like it? I know. Oh, don't cry, don't cry. I'll take it off, I'll take it back, I'll burn it. Just, just don't cry. I, I only bought it to impress you. That's all I ever had to do. I don't know what's come over me lately. I guess I've been a little under the weather. It's hard, isn't it? You've been down in the dumps ever since this mysterious disappearance. You miss him, don't you? Miss him? I never felt so relieved as when they told me he vanished. It was like a miracle. Not to mention all the money I saved on as to some niggas vanished. Well, then what's the matter? I feel guilty, I guess. If he met with some terrible foul play or some accident of some kind, then it's partly my fault, you see. Because secretly, I wished it. Audrey, you shouldn't worry about that quick for one little minute. There are a lot of guys who'd give anything to go out with you. Nice guys. I don't deserve nice guys anymore. Well, that's not true. You know where I met Lauren? In the gutter. The gutter? The gutter. It's a nice spot. I'd work there on my nights off when we weren't making much money. I'd put on cheap and tasteless outfits. Low and nasty and pay. Okay, Audrey, you don't need to worry about that one more minute. You're a nice person, and I always knew you were. Underneath the bruises and the handcuffs, you know what I saw? A girl I respected. I still do. Lift up your head, wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex, wipe that lipstick away. Show me your face, clean as the morning. I know things were bad, but now they're okay. Suddenly, Seymour is standing beside you. Suddenly, 
It seems the plot's thickening among my employees. Oh, please, Mr. Daddy! Don't you, Mr. Daddy, need to go on. Roger, would you excuse me and see Marco for a little while? Perhaps I could get busy 